Imagine having duplicated facial features like two noses or mouths, or aging decades faster than everyone else, showing wrinkles and hair loss early on. Some people have had their legs fused into one, almost like a mermaid tail. These are unbelievable human mutations that still can't be fully explained. EV stands for this. It's sometimes referred to as the tree man disease. EV is an ultra rare genetic condition that causes uncontrollable growth of wart like lesions all over the skin. The weird thing is these lesions are caused by certain types of HPV, the same virus that causes you know, common warts. But almost everyone's immune system fights off HPV before it gets serious. In EV patients, their immune system doesn't work properly against these HPV types. Scientists found mutations in two specific genes that seem to break the immune system's ability to control the virus, but they're not sure exactly why. Because of this, the HPV spreads unchecked, causing large scaly lesions that can look kind of like tree bark, which is where the nickname tree man disease comes from. One of the most well-known cases was a man from Indonesia who lived with the condition for over 20 years before passing away. The lesions covered his hands, feet, and his face. Doctors don't have a cure, so treatment focuses on just removing the growths and managing infections. Diprosopus is a super rare condition where a person is born with parts of their face duplicated. This can mean anything from having two noses or two mouths to nearly just two full faces on one head. It's so rare that there have only been about 36 confirmed cases of this. Scientists think this happens because of a problem with a protein called sonic hedgehog, not making that up, which controls how the face develops before birth. When this protein is too active, it can cause the face to split or duplicate. But exactly why this happens in some pregnancies and not in others, it's still a mystery. Most people born with this don't survive long because the condition usually comes with other serious problems, especially in the brain and the internal organs. Sometimes the duplicated parts aren't fully formed, other times they're more complete. Doctors and researchers have studied cases over the years, but there's still no clear explanation for why it happens. It's not inherited, instead it seems to be a random error during early development. It's one of the rarest and most baffling birth anomalies recorded. Progeria is a crazy rare genetic condition where you age way faster than normal. It's caused by a mutation in a gene called LMNA, which makes a protein important for keeping cells stable. When that protein is messed up, cells get damaged faster, and the body shows signs of aging early. You know, you'll have hair loss, wrinkled skin, heart problems. Kids with progeria usually look like tiny old people, even though they're actually really young. It's super rare, only about 400 cases have been confirmed around the world. Those born with it usually only live into their early teens, and most die from heart disease. There's no cure yet, but some treatments can help with symptoms and maybe slow down the aging a little. Even though scientists know the gene involved, the full picture of how this works at a molecular level is still a mystery, which makes it one of the most puzzling human mutations we know of. Next up is something called mermaid syndrome, which sounds kind of nice, but it isn't. Scientifically, it's known as sirenomelia. This is a rare condition where you're born with your legs fused together, looking kind of like a mermaid's tail. It's extremely uncommon and sadly, it's usually fatal because it comes with serious problems inside your body. You'll have missing or malformed kidneys and just lots of issues in this general area, as you can imagine. Doctors think it happens because the blood flow to the lower part of the fetus gets messed up early in pregnancy, but they don't fully understand why. Some studies say it might be caused by things like maternal diabetes or exposure to certain toxins, but they're not entirely sure. Unlike conditions caused by a single gene mutation, mermaid syndrome seems to come from a mix of things, but this is so rare that only a few hundred cases have ever been documented. Polycephaly means having two heads on one body. It's an extremely rare type of conjoined twins, where instead of two bodies, they're just one with two separate brains. Each case is different, sometimes both heads have control over parts of the body, sometimes one is more dominant. How these twins share organs and nerve control varies a lot, so each case is unique, which makes it tricky for doctors. Scientists know polycephaly happens when an embryo starts to split into twins, but then doesn't fully separate. What's not clear is why it stops halfway, leaving two 
heads on one body. It's not inherited and seems to be a random developmental glitch early in pregnancy. Survival is rare because contrary to what cartoon logic would have you believe, having two brains actually puts a huge strain on the body. It's, it's not a good thing. There have been documented cases in both humans and animals, but very few survive for long. When they do, it raises all kinds of medical and ethical questions about treatment and quality of life. Even with modern medicine, scientists still don't fully understand how these twins' brains manage to coordinate the body or why the condition happens in the first place. Fibroplasia ossificans progressiva, or FOP if you want to get all fancy. It's one of the rarest and weirdest genetic disorders. People with FOP have a mutation in a gene called ACVR1 that makes their body turn muscles, ligaments, and other soft tissue into bone. It's like their body starts building a second skeleton, slowly just traps them in place. Imagine your muscles turning to stone over time terrifying, but that's kind of what happens here. The mutation causes the body's normal repair process to go totally wrong. Instead of healing injuries like normal, the body just reacts by creating bone where it shouldn't. Scientists still don't fully understand why this happens, but they know it's tied to the way cells communicate during bone growth. FOP is very rare. Only about 800 cases have ever been documented. People with it usually start showing symptoms in early childhood and it just gets worse over time. There's no cure and surgeries to remove the extra bone often just make things worse because as you can imagine, the body will just create more bone in response. Etrodactyly is a rare condition where someone is born missing some of the middle fingers or toes, which makes their hand or foot look like a split, kind of claw-like. That's why it's sometimes called lobster claw hand. The exact causes are complicated. It because of changes in certain genes that control how fingers and toes develop in the womb. These gene changes can be different from person to person, which is why ectrodactyly can show up in a lot of ways. Some people might be missing just one finger, others have more severe splits. The condition doesn't follow a simple pattern. That means it doesn't always get passed down in families in a clear way. Sometimes it just happens randomly during development. The gene mutations affect the process where the hand or foot forms from tissue called the limb butt, causing the central digits not to develop or just to fuse together. This one isn't life-threatening though. A lot of people do live normal lives and find ways to adapt to it, although back in the day, it would usually be put in the circus. But because the exact gene changes can vary a lot, scientists don't fully understand why the condition happens or why it looks so different in different people. Hypertrichosis is a super rare condition where people grow way more hair than usual, thick hair, even on places that don't normally have it. It can show up at birth or develop later, but the form people are born with happens because of genetic mutations that mess with how their hair grows. One of the earliest recorded cases was a guy named Petrus Gonzalves from the 1500s who had so much hair that people called him the werewolf man. The hair can cover the face, the arms, the back, sometimes just the whole body, making it look more like fur than hair. Even though it's not dangerous, it can obviously definitely make life pretty hard socially. I can only imagine how bad it must have been in the 1500s. I mean, some people would have been trying to drive a stake through his heart or burn him alive. Scientists still aren't totally sure why the mutation makes the hair grow so much or why it picks certain body parts to cover. There are only a few hundred confirmed cases around the world, so it's super rare. Marfan syndrome is a genetic condition that affects connective tissues, all the stuff that holds your body together, like skin, bones, and organs. People with Marfan usually have really long limbs and fingers, plus super flexible joints. Sometimes their hearts are affected as well, because the blood vessels, this happens because of a mutation in a gene called FBN1, which controls a protein called fibrillin 1. This protein gives strength and stretchiness to tissues, so when fibrillin 1 doesn't work right, the body parts it supports just get weaker and stretch out more than they should. Some people with this condition might barely notice it, others need serious medical care to protect their heart and lungs. With the right treatment and monitoring, most people with this live full active lives. Scientists have learned a lot about this one, but they're still studying how to prevent the serious issues that it can cause. Imagine never feeling pain. I bet some people would wish for this, but, but for people with congenital insensitivity to pain, or CIP, it's actually a big problem. This rare genetic condition means their nerves 
don't send pain signals to the brain properly, so they don't notice when they're hurt. And because of this, they often injure themselves without realizing it. it. Might burn their skin, get infections. There have been cases of people with this condition breaking their bones and not knowing. CIP happens because of mutations in certain genes that interfere with how nerve cells send pain messages to the brain. Scientists study it closely because understanding this condition, I mean, it's not only going to help people with CIP, but they could also develop new pain treatments for everyone else. The tricky part is, since pain is the body's way of protecting itself, not feeling it means these people have to be extra careful all the time. With all that said, I've been your host, James, and I'll catch you, yes, you specifically, in the next video.